So one thing I want to get your opinion on a controversial topic that has to do with the black women's hair in general, natural or not. Bonnets in public. <laughs> Let's hear it, Fran. Do not hold back on these people because they are rocking with you thus far, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and I got you. What's your stand on bonnets in public? You for it or against it? I feel like I'm for it. And I honestly mm. don't understand what is the big deal about it. Mm -hmm. I know um, some celebrity was making a big deal about it a few months ago. Um, Monique, I believe, um, in trying to say like, oh, girls or women, you need to basically have yourself put together when you go out in public. And Yeah, Monique, Monique is not for it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Basically saying so many words, like when mm -hmm. we get around the white people, put your best foot forward, mm -hmm. which I can understand. I can understand how you could have that opinion. And I don't necessarily disagree with people who feel differently than me, mm -hmm. but I just feel like if I have my hair in some twists or if I'm setting my hair for a style and I'm about to go somewhere, I don't care about these people that I'm going around when I want to Walmart real quick or go to the gas station or wherever I decide to go. If I want to have this bonnet on, it's going to be on. Mm. And what are you going to do? Mm. Like, so I don't feel like it should be. I honestly don't even know why it had to become a topic, why it had mm. to become a thing. Like I said uh, before, I feel like black women in general are so mm -hmm. scrutinized by society but then when we get to black women that's a whole other thing mm -hmm. like everything is scrutinized and then it's like even when it comes to our hair how if whether we choose to be natural or choose to be relaxed or choose to wear a bonnet or choose to wear a wig or whatever it's like it always has to be talked about it always has to like become this thing if you want to wear your bonnet wear your bonnet like so what at least i mean bonnets are good for your hair they protect your hair from the elements so i mean I like it. <laughs> yeah. So I got silk pillow covers. I bet. Yeah. So um, I like it, friend. I like that. Here's my thing on it, because I'm kind of stuck in between two spots. First and foremost, I think anybody who's doing something like you should do it. You shouldn't care about what other people think. On the other hand, I'm real big on uh, presentation and the image is, is everything. Mm -hmm. And then the kind of answer where you said, where did this come from? I mean, it comes from the whole... Um, let's let's be real. It comes from and I and I put bonnets in the same category as do rag. That comes from the whole enigma of mm -hmm. when you see that you kind of consider you kind of already picture that person. You know what I'm saying as someone who may be loud. When you think of someone with a bonnet, most people's um, mm -hmm. uh, you know negative uh, stigma around it is oh that person may be loud or ghetto. When you see a do rag on a dude, you know what I'm saying the stigma that may uh, come from oh that person's a thug. Or da, da, da. But where did that even come from, right? It didn't come from our minds just because we didn't walk outside and think that that's coming from media and all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it starts with, first and foremost. Yep. And the media ain't controlled by us. Shit, BET ain't even controlled by us, is it? I don't no, think it is. I anymore. don't think so. Right. So the media ain't controlled by us, <laughs> but that's where it even started from. The old, the negative. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I, I mean, I don't care if, if uh, a woman wears it. If I had to choose one side, I would say not to just because, just to not feed into that um, negative enigma that they want to try to uh, run with. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, yeah. like you said, and like how I kind of feel, it's like, yo, do what you want to do. You know what I mean? But right. it's, it's it's a weird position because, all right, I don't want to put myself in a box that they created. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's a weird position because like I, you know, do rags as well. I mean, I don't have hair, but you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Even like if I did, I probably wouldn't wear a do rag in public. And it's weird because you see white and, you know what I'm saying, Latina and Puerto Rican people wear do rags all the time. Yeah. White people wearing do rags mm -hmm. now, heavy, right? Yeah. So it's it's a weird, it's a weird position, but um I don't I think it. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird position. That's why I don't think one person just should just be like, yo, end all be all, do not wear bonnets in public. Right. Do not wear do rag in public. It's it's weird. I think it's it's all subjective. You know it is. I do feel like I I've, I completely agree with what you're saying. And that's pretty much my standpoint on it, too, um, as far as the pre the presentation aspect of things and how it's been unfortunately stigmatized to be like a loud or ghetto thing. Um, but I do feel like also that when we can be seen out in public with it, and still present ourselves in a way that is presentable. Hopefully, it will be starting to change the direction of the way that it's been stigmatized. Mm -hmm. But, but the thing is, I'm pretty sure it's plenty of people do that. But that's not what's going to get recorded. That's not mm -hmm. what's going to get you right. know kind of blasted out there. That's yeah. all it is. A lot of shit happens. They choose what they want 
to blast out and whatnot. Only the only the ratchet bullshit gets sold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what they're going to use to. But I do like your approach. But we would have to control the media to, you know what I'm saying, do that. Right, right. So maybe like it would take a lot of creators such as yourself to kind of, you know, put that out there. Like the yeah. positive, the positive uh, image behind that. Start a bonnet movement. There you go. Go everywhere in your bonnet. Yeah, yeah. And then show a lot of successful people making uh moves, making successful moves, wearing the bonnets, wearing the do-rags and whatnot. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna have to look into that. Hey, we may have started something here. <laughs> That's what day by day is about. 